are here on day one of GSR 17, and I'm here now with the chairman of ERCA, Mr. Randall Dorset. Great to have you talking with us today. It's my pleasure, Dwight. All right, you were chairing the session just now, ensuring reliability, security, and trust in DFS, a collective responsibility, of course, DFS Digital Financial Services. Let's talk about that in terms of the Bahamas, where we are in terms of DFS right now. Well, as you know, Dwight, financial services is a very important aspect of our economy here locally, and digital financial services is a way for the poor and the undeserved, underserved communities to be able to have an impact in respect of digital financial services. We know that it's not always feasible to have a brick-and-mortar bank in some of the far-flung islands, and we see now some of the problems that we're having with some of the banks pulling out of the family islands, and so those financial services are no longer available to the populace there. Mm -hmm. But digitally, they can be available. This is what digital financial services is all about. Everyone with a mobile phone is able to do their banking. They're able to uh, access their digital financial services right at their fingertips. Mm -hmm. So this is what the session was about, digital financial services. But we know with the good comes the bad. And sometimes people manipulate these digital financial services for their own uh, gain and not always for the benefit of the public. And so you have problems with trustworthiness. You have problems with cybersecurity. And so these are the type of issues that we were discussing in the session today. Right. We were hearing from some of the other countries that took part in the session about mobile money. Are we seeing anything like that in the Bahamas at this time? And are, what are the possibilities going forward? Certainly not to the extent some of the African countries, Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. uh, they have had tremendous penetration when it comes to mobile money and financial services. But again, because of the reality that so many of their populace is unable to do traditional banking services, we don't have as much as a problem that they do, and therefore we don't have the type of demand that they do. But as I have said, we've seen more and more that traditional banks are pulling out of some of the far-flung areas. And so the more that that happens, the more that we think people are going to have a demand for digital financial services, mm -hmm. and we think it's going to be on the rise. It seems that we're going to hear more about this going forward, but in terms of security, is there anything that we can do? Well, it's an ongoing dilemma. Cybersecurity the world over is a problem. We've heard about the reports just recently about some of the hacks all over the world. And so it's something which a global conference like this would like to address. What do the regulators do to ensure that we guard against cybersecurity? What do the policymakers do? What can the public do? And so these are some of the issues that we'll be addressing. And as chairman of IRCA, the host of GSR 17, let's talk about that and um, how that's going so far, the responsibility for IRCA and... Um, how do you see it's going at this point? Well, it's an awesome responsibility, and let me take this opportunity to publicly thank all of the staff and all of the workers that we have working with us. They've done an absolutely tremendous job. All of the reviews that we've gotten so far is that everybody's absolutely amazed um, at the quality of the product that we've been able to put on. So we hope that that continues. Uh, we see it as a responsibility. As you know, IRCA has one of the charges uh, to, to deal with information and communication technologies. We regularly deal with the International Telecommunications Union. And so we really see it as a feather in our cap to be able to have secured the hosting of this conference, which is the premier conference for telecommunication regulators. And it also bolsters our presence in the Bahamas as being a real player in these um, types of services. We would also be making a run as the Bahamas for a council of the ITU next year. And we think this is a good stepping stone to accomplishing that mm -hmm. task. And what will that entail, being on the council? Well, it'll give us more of an opportunity to explore all of the services of the ITU and to be able to leverage uh, those services back home. We think we have a bit of an untapped market in terms of information and communication technologies. And we really want to be able to develop that for the good of our people. When we talk about um, smart Bahamas and all of the things that go along with that. We really think it is an exciting time and we think that this opportunity will allow us to really leverage that opportunity. Okay. Randall Dorset, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you.